Hello there, Kulia. Okay, so thank you for your kind words um, and good luck in your exam next week. So let's jump into this. It is often argued that marketing at the cross border by gigantic firms at the cross border. No. Maybe we wanted to say it is often argued that marketing across borders by gigantic firm, firms is, because it's it, consistency, is considered as attacking a country because they suppress the native businesses, while others are of the opinion that it is that this is essential to bring about the information along with novel ideas, information, novel ideas, foreign, foreign language and lifestyle at a very economical cost and eventually boosting the local economy. Good, very good. This, analyze, this essay will analyse both issues and demonstrate that the latter point is rather beneficial to the countries in question. Not bad. This last sentence needs to be reworked because it's not unique to this topic. I could put that into an essay about global warming, about nuclear energy, um, about employment, about education, anything. What you need to do is make these sentences unique. Okay? So it's say this essay will analyze both issues using examples from Cambridge University and the IMF to demonstrate points and prove examples. You see? Um, and that way it helps you with your cohesion and coherence and also avoids using these empty sentences. Now, there's lots of little tips like that in the online course. Numerous studies have consistently shown that local firms cannot compete with the international brands due to their mammoth financial resources. So I assume here that there are negative implications of international marketing. And I have to assume it because you didn't state it at the beginning. Normally, we would state those negative implications and then we would back up this with more specific claims. Um, also, as another bonus tip, at the beginning of the paragraph we're going general and as we work towards the end we're going more specific. General to specific is the path we want to take. You see? They utilize every single channel to market their products to the swath of pop to the population. We don't need swath. And thus suppress the local products demand. For example, a recent study by Cambridge University showed that the bombardment good vocabulary of advertising by international companies or the bombardment of advertisements by international companies hugely affected the company, the, the consumer to purchase a to purchase specific items. Okay, singular plural agreement is in it's important. It would be such a shame that if you lost points over little mistakes like this. So here's another tip. Um, when you finish writing your essay in the exam, look for singular plural agreement. Okay. And also, if you've got time, look for article mistakes as well. Also here we had um, singular plural. So when you're reviewing your work, look for these little mistakes. However, Okay, so this thing, the problem with this paragraph is it's too thin. There's not, it's not really big enough. We need to fatten it up by using those topic sentences at the beginning, using more details, and possibly even adding a summary at the end. However, it should not be forgotten, good, that the world leading enterprises substantially invest in a country to boost their sale. Good. To yield better returns from the market, these firms invest a huge sum of capital to promote their products, and this investment begets new jobs and services in the country and thus aids, no, and thus boosts the economy of that country. Take for instance a recent study by IMF, by the IMF, that, uh, that, that exhibited that international trade has soared substantially in the middle income countries and helping them to support their economy. It is therefore clear that, da 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 da, and that's your summary sentence. Considering these points, it can be concluded that although marketing of international brands into a country is taken as an invasion, as these companies hurt the local business, it must be taken into consideration that the investment brought about by these companies helps to improve the local economic conditions of these countries, or of that country, yeah. So, good work there. Cool. Um, a few points. Be careful, because we've made 
quite a lot of generalizations and these need to be avoided and we avoid them by hedging and this is a strategy taught in the advanced uh, part of the online course which I think you'd benefit from also um, be careful because in some cases in some sentences um, we've kind of mixed where is it let's see yeah it's slightly off topic here um, by talking about foreign trade and foreign investments and things like that and international trade yeah we, be careful we want to just keep on topic about international marketing so maybe a negative point could be that I don't know um, kids in Scotland now speak with an American accent or something like that you know which is clearly the effect of international marketing or I don't know um, teenagers in Japan now dye their hair blonde and this is largely due to Western advertisements promoting European lifestyles blah 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 okay so just bear that in mind now what I would recommend is that um, you review the points that I mentioned in this essay correction and hopefully you can improve your score if you don't improve your score um, in your next essay if in your next IELTS test then you really need to seriously consider investing in the online course because I think it would definitely benefit you. Or if you're in a bit of a rush, you can join the online course now. And if you do join now in the next 24 hours, I'll give you an extra two essay corrections for free. Okay? Um, just for joining quickly. So good luck in your exam and all the best. And thanks for choosing us. Have a great day. Cool. Is that your real name? Cool Yar Pakistani? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Have a good luck in your exam.